that, Michael. I, I had a hard time getting off of turn four here at Phoenix. We got a spin on the racetrack. That's the 07. That'll bring out the caution for Patrick Emmerling. Regan, you just talked about it wanting to snap blues up off the corner. What are you doing to this guy? It's, he's, he's proving my point, unfortunately. <laughs> That's a picture of what Regan just described to you about what it's like racing around this track. It's like you've done this before, Regan. Time or two. <laughs> Awfully good around this place as well. Here's the 31. And yeah. there we go. So you want to be right on that yellow line with the left front tire right in that trough. But if you touch the apron, it will absolutely do that to the car. Every time. Watch the black car. I just, just lost, lost it. it. Sure did. Look out, Danny Hamrick. We're coming at you. 17th lap of the run, Larry tells us. To burn that groove in, and, and it just looked like he got loose to the center of the corner. And you're telling me it's going to be hotter on Sunday? Uh, I'm liking this, Clint. Woo! And then he practices burnout. I'm sure the engine shop will be happy about that. <laughs> he did a pretty good one. That's quite a burnout for yeah. a practice spin. Yeah. Probably not necessary. For the championship race, his teammate William Byron sat on the pole at a 27-15, very close to what Chris Buescher ran. Hold on to it. Josh Berry around down here, three and four. Just a light slap of the wall with the left foot. Oh, he just touched the, the apron. apron. And guys, when you touch that left front tire on the apron, that's exactly what it does in the simulator. That's exactly what it does in the racetrack. You want to have that left front tire covering that left front line. But when you get the tire over that yellow line. Here in three and four, and definitely down in one and two in the flat, long corner. As we got a spinner here. Got the 11 around. Josh Williams will bring out the caution for the first time. I believe he may have had help. You spin it around. Ray, get a really good look at the right front. The rear. Looks like he'll be able to drive it back around. Patrick Emmerling. Here you see the three wide off a of turn two. It looks like the 51 of Clements gets into the left rear a little bit. Just a tight squeeze off the corner. It definitely tightens up, Daniel, there as he comes off the it's, corner. And it's tough. You know, the, the 51, obviously, he, he wants to be three wide bottom, uh, but it's just too tight. You know, it's, 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 it's a little bit too tight. Or maybe he didn't know that they were three wide. Uh, who knows? But but he just. Yeah, it looks like he, he just washed up there. He just washed up into the, into the 11. The 11 really didn't have, you know, anywhere to go. Josh Williams was running 23rd at the time. Right on board here with Frankie Muniz. How about a close call? But the seven trying to take the lead for the first time. And this is the and first he time. Does it. Yeah, this is the first time we've seen Justin Algar have a good start. He was on the bottom lane. I think that was part oh, of it. Oh, oh yes. wreck. John on an even check. It looked like he was wrecked yeah, by his down. teammate Chandler Smith. Now they're wrecking all over at the front of the field, guys. That was a big wreck. That was a big wreck. You know what? Everything goes back to the pit stop with the 81. The 81. Here. Quite a bit there in the left rear. Oh, oh same man. Man. Yeah. All the rays, man. Front from him. He got his way there. up. Still got a fire. Jeb Burton. Jeb Burton there. That's a lot of flu. That escalated quickly. John Hunter Nemechek. Seems to me with the lead. Like he, he can't believe it either. Look. <laughs> oh, he can't believe it. <laughs> you see the three that? wide coming off the corner. Pretty tight. You know, John Hunter definitely squeezes them down a little bit. And he's kind of run out of real estate. <sighs> I mean, he already started spinning when he finished him off. I, it's just, I mean, it's racing. It's racing, man. It's racing. I think it's a combination of things. Obviously, the 81 got, you know, himself in a very, very tight hole. The 20 didn't like that, and he pins him down on exit. And the 81 didn't have a, didn't have a way to go, unfortunately, because then the, the 98 was right on his left rear as well. Mm. Let's get a look from our. Yeah, I mean, I mean. I mean, it's tight. I mean, you yeah. see that Chandler was getting, you know, hit from the inside and it's kind of getting bounced around a lot there. And gosh, once he gets into, you know, those cars on the bottom, you're, just, you're sitting in the middle of the racetrack and here comes all these cars right at you. Look at Parker just hoping they get just by there. It. Look oh, at that Eric save. Almarola getting in it. So William Byron into the wall. Yeah, that's, oh. that's Parker tough one. Redslaw just destroyed up at the wall. You know, you know who did a great job? Parker Kligerman right yes, there. Yes, he did. I mean, sometimes the best move is to do not move. <laughs> just <laughs> wait for things to settle, and then you make your adjustment. Look at him. He's still slowing down. But you and, watch uh, his hands. Yeah, yeah, he was bored with John Hunter. <laughs> just 
and Allgaier minding his own business up front. He's got a three-second lead now with five laps to go. Oh, oh no, left rear down. Left rear down, down. Oh, the leader. The leader the goes wall. around. Oh, no. All oh my God. Allgaier in the wall. What a change of events here. Caution Everything looks is fine and right there. Right See there. that smoke? Yep. That's, that's it. Comes right apart. Gone. The longest run of the of the day. Oh, gosh, my heart's broken for him. Yeah. Unbelievable. That's what you just sit there in disbelief. As soon as yeah. that's over, like, how can that happen? That's it. It's already flat right there. Yeah. As soon as he hits the brakes, it just comes apart. Not that he, he could have done right there. See it in real time. Finishes for Sheldon Creed yeah. today, maybe the day. Frustration. Frustration right there. Oh, Gregson, this is for 10th place. Larson Suarez. Oh, oh big trouble in the back straightaway. A lot of damage to the left front of Austin Sindrick's car, and we're under the first caution of the day. Back at 30th. You can see him sideways, clearing the back of the screen. Krause is around, stacks them all up behind him. Cindric clips him with the left front, and Austin hits him. Looks like a short day for the uh, Morgan and Morgan onboard camera. Here's a look. This is a look from Austin Dillon, and you're going to see him just nowhere to go. Watch this in the smoke. Boom, run right into him. Bang and a cowbell going. More restarts. And we're going to have one. Try to get a roll in here when you can. Leader start, finish line. Kyle Busch around. Yeah, this is been... Oh, you see him right there in the middle of the racetrack. Just starts to come around on him. Got it caught up. Had to correct it. Got up in the car on the outside of him. And it's just a handful of a race car. Almost. Pretty much the same spot that Derek Krause had his, his issues earlier when the car stepped out. Almost got into Kaz Grala there. Single car spin for Kyle Busch. Puts us under caution for the fourth time today. Or just alongside Whoa. of Bell and Elliott. And around goes Logano. All right, get it rolling straight here. Back there. And, and sure enough, John Hunter Nemechek will run over him from the back. Around it went, right up into the traffic of other cars. Corey LaJoy, nowhere to go, right in his lap. Unfortunate ending. Derek Krause likewise. Barry spins. And Zane Smith hard on the brakes, avoids uh, serious contact as he gets into Lagano. Been a frustrating day for Joey Logano. Blaney right in the middle of that swarm. Ninth place. And there's a, oh, we got one around. Denny Hamlin. Single car spin. Nobody gets into him, but. Yeah. On the bottom of the racetrack, getting into turn one, you say, gets a little bit loose, comes oh, up the racetrack, yeah. had to catch it, getting as the door of Reddick, and away it came. Round it came. Wow, did not see that coming. Boy, that could have been big. Brad Kozlowski was almost right on him. So if those guys were, as we look at this one more time, those guys that just pitted, if they were close on fuel and, and felt like they were in a position to, to make it to the end, now you're going to have all these guys up front that have to pit, and they're gonna, it's going to flop the field, Clint. 100%. Well, Kyle Busch's luck finally changed.